The government has approved Bharat Biotech's intranasal COVID-19 vaccine in Covac as a booster dose for those above 18 years of age. How does this needle-free vaccine work and how different it is from the existing ones? To answer these questions, we spoke to Dr. Gagandeep Kang, virologist and professor at the Christian Medical College. The idea of giving a vaccine through the nasal route or uh, other mucosal routes like the oral route is to try and mimic what happens in natural infection, which is if you get a virus through breathing, then giving a vaccine in the location where the virus first comes in might be important. Similarly, if you give an oral vaccine, it would be for a virus or bacteria that gets in through the mouth. Nasal vaccines existed even before COVID hit. The most recent nasal vaccine that has been approved was for influenza. How different was it? Listen in. But what has been shown with that nasal vaccine is that in some seasons, it generally performs less well than a vaccine that is given by injection. Bharat Biotech calls in COVAC ideal for COVID-19 because it offers mucosal immunity. What does that mean? Mucosal immunity is the holy grail for anyone that is looking for preventing infections. The problem is that we've never had a vaccine that has been able to achieve full mucosal immunity. One of the best examples of a vaccine that we have that is focused on mucosal immunity is uh, the oral polio vaccine, which is given by mouth to children. In high-income countries, when oral polio vaccine was being used, it required only three doses of vaccine to achieve the same level of antibody responses that needed 10 or more doses in children, for example, in India. The problem with mucosal immunity essentially for oral vaccines, which we know best, has been the issue that uh, we have many, many more infections in our countries, low income, mid low and middle income countries, uh, which can damage our mucosal surfaces. And that means that we might not be able to induce the kind of mucosal protection that is required. Dr. Kang further mentioned that Bharat Biotech's Incovac has been approved on the basis of immunogenicity studies, which means it induces an immune response Will it help against transmission? That is something that we will find out when we actually try to measure reduction in infection and reduction in disease in people in whom the vaccine is actually used. So at the moment, there is no clinical protection data that is available from the Bharat Biotech vaccine. So should one get a booster shot? In India, currently, we have no evidence to show that any of the vaccines that we have used so far, mostly Covishield and Covaxin, that they have failed in any sense. There is no measurement of an increase of severe disease in any population group, including the elderly. So, in terms of data driving decisions on boosters, we don't have that from India at this time. I think that's why it's important to collect. But if we look at the recommendations that were made originally in India, the idea was a precautionary use. We don't have data, but we look at the rest of the world and based on what's happening in the rest of the world, we can recommend a booster while we get our own data. Like vaccines, you can book your booster shot via COVIN. The intranasal vaccine in COVAC is also available on the government's COVIN website and it will be in the market by the fourth week of January. It is priced at 800 rupees per dose for private hospitals and 325 rupees for government facilities.